Hey, 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 hey. Is it gonna stay? Okay, hold on. I got it all wrong. You see? All right, hey, everybody. What's up? All right, so I gotta go wrap some people and kind of had like a blah, blah day. So I decided I'm gonna do a quick beat and I've always like done my own makeup. I'm not like a makeup expert, but I've always done my own makeup. Um, and I really like taking an interest the last couple of months and I've been watching tons and tons of makeup videos. So you get the task of staying with me and keeping me company while I, um, while I do this quick beat before I head out to rep these folks. All right. So the only thing I've done, I took a shower and washed my face. Um, I don't even have moisturizer on. So um, I get a, actually a lot of compliments on my skin. Part of it is genetics. Shout out to Brenda for the good genetics. Um, but I recently started using our, hold on one second. Okay. Recently, um, past couple of months, started using our uh, line. We have a skincare line. So I was real kind of like, eh, because my skin is very, very sensitive. And if your face breaks out, where are you going to go from there? So, you know, anyway, so, um, this is what I use. Um, this is called Preventage. It's a moisturizing cream and gel. So let me get that on real quick. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible to do this quick beat. And the only thing I've done is my eyebrows. Okay, so you gotta put your moisturizing cream on. So when I do my makeup, and my husband hates, let me just put a disclaimer out there, my husband hates that I wear makeup. And I don't wanna say I DK, cause I do care. However, comma, I'm a girl, and makeup makes me feel good and happy, and when I do my makeup, I'm not thinking about anything else, and I'm, I don't know, it allows me to be creative, so. I like makeup. I'm, I don't need makeup necessarily, but I like makeup. So that's just my thing. Okay, so what I normally start with is my eyes and for my concealer. So with the videos I've been watching, um, my thing is always like how to make my eyes pop, how to make my eyeshadow pop. And concealer, I'm just looking for my brush, concealer is the answer. Partly. All right, so this is what I do. And I'm using LA Pro Girl Concealer. Okay, so if anyone has any questions, just message me or comment and I'll answer them um, when I get back in. But I gotta go meet these people um, to put these wraps on. So if I'm not, you know, if it's just like a normal day, I don't do a whole lot. But, because I'm literally going to put this on, go wrap these people, come back home and wash my face. All right. Hi, Joy. That's my baby mama, y'all. Hey, baby. Oh, my ring is sticking out. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Let me turn my ring around. Okay. So, I put the concealer on. And with the concealer, you should, depending on, like, what you're going to do for your shadow, you should go, like, two one to two levels above your you know your complexion so i put the concealer on and i usually put more than this like if i'm going to be out all day and i'm really trying to like beat beat um i put more on but i'm not going to do that today because like i said i'm going to go and do that and then i'm going to pick my baby up from skating and i'm coming back home and washing my face okay so I just use a brush. Now some of these people know numbers and what kind of brush they're using. I don't know any of that. I don't have any of that information. Elf has some really great brushes. They're very inexpensive. So I do tend to use Elf brushes. Um, okay, so as you can see, my concealer is in. I give it a few seconds to dry. This is something that I just learned. So after the concealer, I put on prime finishing powder, okay? So I use e.l.f. E.l.f. is inexpensive. 
Um, because I'm just now kind of getting started, getting interested in makeup, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money on it because I may think of and want to do something different tomorrow. Um, so no, I'm not going to do that. But this is finishing powder and it is very light as you can see, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to put eyeshadow over it. But what this does is it sets that concealer so that there is no transfer from the concealer to your shadow. So I just put that over my eyelid and over my whole eye. Hey y'all, y'all got any questions? I can't see any comments, can I? Let me see. Facebook be playing. No, I can't see. I can't see any comments, but say hi to me. Drop me a heart or a like or a something so I know that people are watching and you're alive and you're well. I hope everybody had a good day. My day was cool. I just got off of work. Um. Okay, so I have my concealer that I put on and with the LA Pro Girl Concealer that I used. Hi, Alnissa. Thank you. Um, the concealer that I used, this was porcelain. And then followed it up. I rubbed it into my eye and then followed it up with the with the finishing powder. Now, this is where I don't really know what I want to do. So, I purchased a couple of eyeshadow palettes over the last couple of weeks. So, let me show you what our options are. Jaclyn Hill Morph. We have this one. And these are options. Okay, so what I normally do while I'm thinking about what color I want to do, I'm going to do what's called a transition color. All right, so after you put on the concealer, put on the finishing powder, you need a transition color. And the transition color almost serves as like a backdrop, so your colors can kind of something to blend. So, I don't know, because I don't know what I want to do. But let's, I may do this and this. Okay. So I am going to, do y'all see this one? Okay, so let's try. Now one thing that I've learned, and I'm not good at this because my patience sucks. My patience is like on a, like a five out of a hundred. So God is working on me, pray for me here. Um, but the the key what i what i've learned from watching videos is that the key to like your eyeshadow pop popping and you know being you know is building and i just don't have that kind of time i know y'all probably like i don't, you know i like makeup but i don't have that kind of time so again you know i kind of just started this as a hobby and um and i'm learning that you know i guess Anything you want, you got to spend some time on it. So this, so right here, I'm just, this area is kind of like under my brow. It's just like the transition color. So I'll put that on. And it's going to be some fallout, which is fine. We'll get rid of that. If you can see, like, it's kind of falling out. Which is, I, love. I know. Well, Elvis, I'm going to help you because... I don't, I'm not an expert. It's like I could do a lot of, I could do a little bit of a lot. Like people think I do hair, I don't do hair. My best friend Wendy McCoy does hair. I don't do hair. Um, if you need her, she's in Baltimore. Um, shout out to Wendy McCoy. Um, I don't do hair, but I can do like a little bit. Like when I was at Howard, I would do weaves, sew-ins, and that's how I made some extra cash. But I don't do hair. I did a couple of people where I live, I did a couple of people's um, crochet braids. And my church is like a little mini mega church, like 17,000 members. So the lady's hair that I did, um, you know, got a couple of calls from doing her hair. And I'm just telling people like, that's not, I work for Hilton and I work and I have a business, but I don't do hair. But it's okay. It's okay. It is, it's cash. And the little bit of things that I do know how to do, I'll do. 
Okay, so you may not, some of this may not show up as well in the um, camera, but I'm just like, just kind of going over, going over, going over this area here. Hair is my thing. <laughs> Girl. Okay, so you, I'm, I'll have my hair stuff for you and you can send me your, uh, your uh, questions. I hate this song. Oh my God. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all pray for me, because I, like, hate that song. Hey, baby, come in. So I was trying to get my daughter, Zaya, come around and say hi, to hi. do some um, lives with me, because she's into makeup, and she's so pretty. And she, you know, that foundation, that foundation be lit. She, she, I'm trying to help her with her eyeshadow, but, because I don't have the time to do it anyway. Well, on the weekends, you have more time. Okay, so, again, you may not be able to see that. Very, It's very subtle, right? But that's what a transition color should be. It should be subtle. And I promise this will all come together. Right now, I look like a raccoon. Don't worry, I'm pretty. Okay, so, your eyeshadow, this is just your transition color. So, I actually use two transition colors. I use one that's really light, which is that one that I just kind of put in. It's almost like a peach um, but then I'm going to come in. Oh, okay. So I have this wet and wild palette. Are you leaving? Oh, that's cute. Where'd you get that from? It's Brianna's. Oh, these children. Do y'all remember? Where are my Baltimore people on this here live? We used to share clothes and that was the thing. I was in the process today and I was like, I'm taking this. Your wardrobe was multiplied by... Gajillion when you can wear somebody else's clothes. Do you have um, makeup wipes? I do have makeup wipes, but do you have to have them? I just need one until I can on the somewhere. on the floor by my my little basket. Okay, so I have this. You can leave it open and yeah. I have this Wet and Wild palette, super inexpensive, but you know these are the ones where it kind of gives you like your eyebrow, your um, brow, bone, eyelid, crease, and definer. I love these. Um, so what I'm doing is, so I did that transition color. Now this is a darker version of that transition color that I did at first. So I'm just gonna do that. What time is it, y'all? Okay. I got like 15 minutes and I'm gonna be off of this live. And I'm sorry if I'm rushing, but like I said before, any questions that you all have, I don't know everything. I'm still learning. But my daughter actually gave me a compliment the other day. She said, you just can pick up something. You want to learn something. You'll watch a couple videos and you just pick it up. I don't know if that's true. Um, but I like to paint like, you know, like painting, you know, when you move and you might paint or you're in a new house or, you know, you just want to change. Your, like, I love to paint. I think painting is so peaceful. Um, but I mean, I can't paint my house every day, but I can't do my makeup every day. So that's why I've kind of taken this on. Okay. So I'm finishing up with filling this in. And when you are applying um when you're doing your shadow you know it's it is it's patience right what i'm learning is patience and it's building building your colors up and this windshield wiper motion back and forth and coming all the way over here to almost where your nose kind of starts you know you want to make sure you have that whole area covered okay all right so that's all I'm going to do for that. And so now the question is, what am I going to put on my lid? So I do have, as I showed you, I do have the Morph palette. And I think I want to go dark, maybe. I also have this. Now, this is my baby. <laughs> this is Julius, Juvia's Place. Um... I'm a, like, I just got turned on to this stuff, so y'all don't laugh. If y'all already been using this stuff, don't laugh and don't judge me. Um, but look at these colors. Oh, my God. Aren't they pretty? They're so pigmented and they're so pretty. So, I 
I think, and this is called, um, it's Juvia's Place. I got this from Amazon and um, it wasn't that much. It was maybe 20 something, less than 25. And from watching the makeup videos, this is just something that everybody, if you're serious about makeup, everybody has this. And there's like some other ones as well, but this is Masquerade is the name of this palette. I think I'm going to do Zubu, Zobo. Okay, so that's this one. I think. Or... Ada. Let me try. Oh my God. Okay. Let me try Ada. All right. So I'm going to take a blending brush. If I can find one. And I do have, I got my brushes from Amazon um, a while ago. So just make sure y'all make sure y'all clean y'all brushes now. That's very important. You don't want to catch a, catch a fever in your eye. Because I will talk about you. Okay. So I think I'm going to go in with Ada. Ada. We're going to say that's the name of it. All right. So let's just see. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to see. So <clears throat> this is something I learned the hard way. Y'all made already know this. When I put my brush in. Make sure you kind of hit it on something and any excess, you get rid of it. <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna put that on the lid area. Yep, I think I like it already. And it's like, it's no right or wrong, y'all. That's what I've learned. I think that I like overthought like makeup and wanting everything to be perfect. And it doesn't have to be, you know, it's like you are the canvas, you know, try it, experiment. If you don't like it, take it off, you know, like just wipe it off. Um, oh, I like that. It's coming. It's coming. You know, just watch. Stay tuned. It's going to come together. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. It's almost like a burgundy or something. And I'm not going to put on too much. Because like I said, I'm coming back home and I'm washing this off. Within three hours, I'm going to be back in the house. So I'm not going to pack it on too much. And I'm just dabbing. Now for years, y'all don't laugh. But for years, I was doing like this. And I don't think that's like, like wrong. But... That's not 100% correct. So what you're supposed to do is dab, 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 dab. You get the makeup on your brush and dab, 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 dab. Hey, Marcus. What are you doing watching? This is a makeup video, boy. How you doing? Long time no see. Good to see you. Hope all is well and be more. Sorry, I will not be home. Okay, so let me tell y'all for my friends and family in Baltimore who are getting ready to go out and have an amazing weekend with City Polly. My husband and I will not be home. We were planning to be home. Um, but as some of you know, I um, have it. Uh, my business is uh, It Works Health and Wellness. And my goal, hi, lovely. And my goal is to quit my job. My husband really, really, I work for Hilton. And my husband really wants me to quit my job. My job is uber um, stressful. And, you know, he loves me and he believes in my vision and he believes in the opportunity. So the goal is for me to be able to quit my job next year, 2018, early 2018, and work my business full time. So what that means is we're going on a spending freeze which means no travel. So I know, I, I wish I could be home. I hate to miss, you know, the festivities, but I know that y'all understand a lot of us are entrepreneurs, entrepreneur on the side. So I know that you all get it. Um, now, one thing that I just did that I shouldn't have done, I went up a little far because I saw it coming up, not the end of the world, but I have my transition color here, right? really light it's like a oh shit y'all see what that just did let me see if i can get that off 
Well, just like that. And then I'm going to go back with that brush that I was using for my transition. Get in more. Oh, the rain. Okay, just for you. Stay, because I'm, I'm trying to move as fast as I can without rushing, but I'm going to contour my nose. Do you use this, Lorraine? Girl, this thing is everything. $7.99 at Walgreens. Everything. Um, but I made a little error, so all I'm going to do is put my brush right back, that transition color, and just fix that little, little snafu. Okay, so... I think this is good. I'm not about to go to the prom. So I think this is good. Now, it looks okay. Now what I wanna do is just go back a little tiny bit and just follow up with that transition. I know the rain, cause you got books and stuff, girl. You got to be out here with your best foot forward. I know. I'm proud of you though. Very proud of you, everyone. I've known so many people that have their own business. You know, it's almost like I was talking to um, the young lady who helped me, who did my makeup for my wedding last year. And I was asking her about like, well, how do you market? You know, what are you doing? Because she's awesome. She is freaking awesome. Um, and I said, well, how are you marketing? And she said, she, you know, like she doesn't really market. Um, she's on Instagram and Facebook, but that's not her thing. Her thing is her makeup, right? That's, that's her gift. And she don't really, and you know, I find that that's the, the case with a lot of entrepreneurs. Like your gift is your gift. Your gift is Lorraine is an author, an amazing author. Like her, that's her gift, but she may not be into how to market that. And so obviously that's why, you know, we have companies that we can outsource to and things of that nature. Now I'm not tooting my horn. I promise you I'm not. But my background is marketing, okay? So my degree from Howard is business administration and hospitality management. So a good portion of my time in college, I spent with marketing. The last 20 or so years that I spent in the hospitality industry, I was a director of sales and marketing for hotels, director of sales and marketing. So marketing is in me. It's intrinsically a part of who I am. So I think that's the difference. And, you know, I offered my services, you know, I don't like my mom was like, you should be a consultant for small businesses. And I don't know, it's something that's in the back of my mind. I haven't really done anything with it. But, you know, I heard her like if mama say something, you should listen. Um, because a lot of people like, you know, the, the girl that helped me that did my makeup for my wedding, she said, I just want to do makeup. Like, I don't I'm not into all that. I just want to do makeup. And I understand that. Um. But so anyway, I, I, it's because it's a whole thing, you know, not everyone, I guess, wants to make money with their gift, but a lot of people do want to make money with their gift. Well, we're in a, we're in an age now, social media isn't going anywhere. The internet's not going anywhere. Um, it's not. So I have spent the last probably five months, like I have e emerged myself into social marketing training. I have some a lot of free trainings i try to get those out the way first but i'm doing a, now i'm i'm paying i'm investing in myself i'm investing in my business because we're not getting away from social media you know what i'm saying people are making five figures a month six figures a month these seven, seven figure incomes and they're working with people that pe their, their customers are people that they have never met people that they will never meet right be all because of social media so if you have a business and you haven't delved into social media, done any kind of training, please do. Please do. Word of mouth is great. Referrals are great. Your warm market is great. But please know social media is a freaking monster. So that's what I've spent my time doing. That's what I'm currently spending my time doing. I just started a new training today. Finished one yesterday, starting a new one today because I need the money. I, I want to quit my job. I don't want to work for anyone else. Okay, lastly, I'm sorry, y'all went off on a tangent. Okay, so my colors are in. So now I'm going to do just a little, it's like a little baby smoky eye, okay? So we're not going out tonight, but we're going to do a little a little baby. So right here, we need, oh, uh, okay, yeah, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Um, 
you know, for as long as I can, I will give out free advice. <laughs> I can't promise that'll always be the case, but you know, I definitely, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not, but I am. But you know, I believe in helping one another, right? I, you know, we, we, I'm not that girl. So any help that I can offer, anything that I've learned, I'm happy. I'm happy to pass it on for sure. Um, okay. So I'm just going to go in right here and let me show you the color. So I'm going to go in with this. I actually kind of mixed these two. So the colors that I have, this black would be too dark. So I'm just going to kind of go, this is almost like a, like a, a charcoal brown and a dark brown. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's just for the, oh, girl, that's sweet. Yeah. I understand. I understand. My mom is like that. Um, you know, you pay people, you know, cause time is money. I did a post. I think I did it on, I don't know if I did it on Facebook or on Instagram today. You know, time is the most precious commodity. We can always make more money, right? You know, we can always make more money. We can build new relationships. There are a lot of things that we have the ability to get more of. But baby, time ain't one of them. It's not. It won't be. So, you know, I believe that I don't mind paying people for their time. That's why I'm investing in these different trainings that I'm doing. Okay, so if you can kind of see that little corner right there. I'm so over my time, y'all. I said I was going to be quick with this live. I talk too much. But I'm really a quiet person. And I quiet. David, am I quiet? You better watch what you say. I think I am. Like, if I don't have anything to say, I'm quiet. But if I got something to say, you probably couldn't shut me up. Okay, so I just went in right there, just in the corner. And when you do this, don't go past, like, right here. This corner, like, don't go past it. Because you just want to create that little smoky on the end. Okay. Uh <laughs> I know, cause well, cause it's hard. Like when I'm around, you know, people I love and I'm cool with. Oh, it's you know, I'm a I'm a fool. It's on and popping. Yeah, okay, maybe I should put that disclaimer. I'm quiet if I don't know you. Okay, so, all right, so hopefully y'all can see my chair is getting away from me here. Okay, so it's coming together. I am going to go, what you will notice is if you come here, sometimes when you bring in that darker color, it can overshadow, which is fine. Again, with makeup, like you can't, I don't want to say you can't make a mistake because I done seen some mistakes walking on the street. But if what I mean is if you realize that you made a mistake, you can correct it. It's an easy, you know, it's an easy fix. So with this darker color that I'm doing for anyone just coming in, I am, I did this as my transition color. So I did that first and then I'll show you the other color. And then right now I'm going between these two. This is a Jaclyn Hill Morph palette that I just got that I, that I love. I try to go with palettes that are, I, I go by recommendations really because... My money is precious to me. I don't like trial and error when I'm spending my coins. But this was one that everybody talked about. Also, the um, Juvia's Place was one that everybody talked about. Okay, so I'm finishing up here. And that's my transition color up here. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my Juvia's place and I was using Ada, which is this color here. And I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. 
I'm not really going anywhere, but I don't want that dark color to overpower what I just did. Okay. So just not too crazy, just a little bit. Okay, all right. Now my face is gonna be super quick. I take the longest, but I'm gonna roll through this face. Um, blending, okay, so once you get your colors on, I use, and I don't know who it's by, and I don't know the number, but you can see the brush. Can you see the brush? It's kind of like tilted, y'all see that? So this is my blending brush. And so what I do is I just kind of take it and right where that color meets the transition, I just do a very light blend. You don't want, you know, you never want like that harsh transition from one color to the next. So just blend, 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 blend. okay? And then, you know, just kind of go over, if you, you know, darken, darken up your eyebrows some, just go over it a little bit, because sometimes with all of the makeup. Okay, so almost done with my eyes. I use, this is a, I've used liquid liner all of my life, and I just started using a, a um, gel liner. I got this from Rue, Rue 21 of all places. I love it. I love this so much more than liquid. Some people swear by liquid. It's all up to your preference. I will never go back to liquid. Okay, so this is black. And this is the brush that I use. Y'all can see that. And this is just my liner. You try to... Just right on your lash line. Now, I don't do no wingtip. I ain't Wonder Woman or Bat Girl. But even if I'm going out, I don't know. I don't like wingtip on me. Some people like it. That's fine. Which is another, you know, the, the other beautiful thing about makeup. So when you do your liner, just make sure when you close your eye and look like there's no gaps. Like it's a consistent line all the way. Okay. And now... I have a pretty steady hand, but I do just, you know, take your time. Make sure you stay on your lash line. This line should not be high on your eye. It should be right at your lash line. And then if you do kind of come over a little bit too far, just go back to that brush that you were using and just do like that. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all still with me? All right, so eyes are done. Well, it's not, I don't have mascara, but we're getting ready to do foundation. So I love Maybelline Fit Me. I did, I was on Queen Latifah CoverGirl for a really long time. I love her um, foundation. But I've since started using Maybelline Fit Me. Um, it's a little light, so I actually use two. So this is Black Radiance. Cream. It actually is a um, also has SPF in it. And when I put my foundation on, just bam, 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 bam. okay. That's probably too much. It'll be off in an hour. And I wet my brush a little bit, not a lot, but just a little bit. Okay. And you just want to put that in brush it's not damp like we're not doing a damp brush i literally just sprinkled a little tiny bit of water on the brush and you just want to blend 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 i'm about to transform y'all y'all be like oh that's mallory i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> that's why my husband he does not like for me to wear makeup and like I, you know, I don't think I'm an ugly chick but you know makeup make you look more polished look like you got some business about yourself like you're about to go out and do something with your life 
you know, shoot. And you know, you don't always feel like it. I understand that. But you do feel better. And I think that's why I got into makeup. I kind of went through a, a time period where I wasn't really feeling that great. I'm grateful to have a job, but I don't want to work for anybody. So, you know, you have to do things to, you know, make yourself happy. Okay, so I'm just going to just go back. And we're going to contour, y'all, and I'm going to jump off of here fast as fire because I'm running behind. But I'm just going to I put a little bit more of my Black Radiance Foundation. I'm not even going to use my Fit Me this time because I don't need it. But I'm just going to come over and you just blend, blend, blend. All the way to your ear, okay? All the way down. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. I think I'm coming together, y'all. What y'all think? Hi, Dana. Hi, Chantel. Dana! Hey, baby. Miss you. Miss you, miss you, miss you. Okay. So, I'm going to contour. I don't know why, but we were talking about contouring earlier. Contour is just, you know, people trying to make their face longer, shorter, fatter, blah, 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 whatever the case may be. Um, oh, I forgot mascara. Okay, let me do that real quick. I use, I well, I vary, but right now I have this. I love lash fibers. Thank you. I have lash fibers. Um, so I'm just going to put these on real quick. If you haven't used a mascara that has the fiber, just a two-step, invest in it. And it's not expensive. But I love fibers. Like, I don't know that I could ever go back to, like, normal mascara. It plumps up. I don't have, like, super long, illustrious lashes like some people my husband actually has better lashes than me, which is a little crazy, but it is what it is. Um, and I have fake lashes, but, you know, if I'm just kind of going around, I'm not going to put on fake lashes. And I feel like the lash fibers allow you to kind of have the best of both worlds. So you put on your first coat and then the little fibers are here. And you just take them and you can go in that same motion. Uh oh. I have to fix that. I laid a whole lash line down right there. Okay, so I'm going to let that side sit and then I'm going to go ahead and do this side. What y'all cooking for dinner? Let's talk about what's really important. What's today? Wednesday? What's for dinner? Anybody got any good ideas? I was going to make salmon cakes. But I don't know. That means I got to go get eggs. Because you got to have eggs to mash them together. Any ideas, anybody? Dinner? I'm always looking for dinner ideas. I got two children in here that definitely can cook. When they claim they got too much homework. I think it's all lies, 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 lies. Okay, so just putting on my little fibers. Now I'm done with my fibers. I put them on both sides, and now I'm gonna go back with the um, with the uh, mascara and go over the eye. This eye, since I did it first. I love lash fibers. Does anyone else use that? It just really, it bulks up your lashes. And um, like I'm using hair, skin, and nails. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen my before and afters. I've been on hair, skin, and nails since July. And my hair is growing like crazy. Uh, oh, hey, Amber. Hey, boo. Okay, now you're not going to come over here because I'm doing my makeup. But you're not going to come over here and embarrass me because you a real makeup artist. But anyway. Amber is a real makeup. If y'all need makeup done in the DMV area, Amber Terrell. She's on Facebook Finder. Um, but 
like I said, it it almost gives your lashes like a 3D effect. I love it. I love it. Like I said, this was wet and wild. I've done um, some other more expensive brands. And I think, you know, now other makeup companies are catching up and they're doing the same thing at a much lower price. Okay. <laughs> hey, Amber. Thank you, baby. Okay. So, um, that's done. Okay. So, Got a little bit of now I am going to go with my LA Pro Concealer Warm Honey. Now sometimes I just leave like this. Obviously, you know, this is fine. Um, but just for sake of this. So this is where the contouring comes in. I know I'm not gonna do a lot. Just I don't feel like it. And now I'm just going to blend out my um, LA Pro Girl Concealer to contour. Okay, so Amber's doing stir fry. What else y'all doing? Hey, Sade, what you making for dinner, girl? Probably a cake. You making a cake for dinner? That girl bakes. Let me tell y'all. When I say it's some entrepreneurs watching this live, every person, like 99% of the people that have been on this live, y'all have businesses. And y'all, please put y'all businesses on here. So people are going to go back and watch it. Put what you do and how people get in contact with you. I'm all about sharing the wealth, please. I know a lot of entrepreneurs. Ain't God good? That's crazy. Okay. So. Now. Coming to the end, y'all. This is my Black Radiance palette. That I am so in love with. Mm, 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 mm. And I could probably blend this out a little bit more, but I'm not. Because I got to go. Okay, so this is medium to dark, and this, I'm going to take this first contour, this first dark color, and right here, I'm just going to do that. Okay, and then I'm just kind of going to come around here and just fill some of this in. Now, I'm just putting it here. I'm not blending yet. I am going to come up here and do something, but just see how I just put it there because I'm not done down here. Okay. All right. So, and then I'm going to go in and sculpt is the next one over. So, just a little bit on my brush. And I'm just going to put that right there. And then I also just put a little bit to kind of go up there and meet with that darker color that I did. Every woman. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, girl. I feel good when I do makeup. I love makeup. My husband hates it, but I love it. It just makes me feel pretty. I'm a girl. I'm not a dude. I'm a girl. So I like to feel pretty. And I feel pretty with makeup. More pretty. Okay, and then lastly, now this is normally if I was going out, I'm just going to do it for sake of us here tonight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blend this. And then I'm going to do highlight real quick. Oh, um, one thing I didn't do. Um, so this is what Lorraine was talking about. So normally I will go back and do that lighter uh, concealer again, but it's kind of still there because I really didn't blend it. So we're going to put that, bookmark that. Go ahead and finish blending. And then I'm going to go in and do my highlight. So that's the last one here. And this is just warm. 
just make it warm. Not too crazy. Not too crazy. Because I do like to look natural. Like, I don't want to look necessarily made up. I don't mind looking like I have on makeup, but I don't want to look like made up and fake. So these two dark lines that I just did to contour, I'm just going to take my pencil and blend it up and down, okay? Okay, and I do come back and do a little bit of that and then take that highlight here okay all right so don't y'all leave hold on one second one second y'all might as well stay with me for this whole thing what time is it before i got to go okay Two minutes, two minutes, and we're done. Y'all gonna stay with me for my lippy, aren't you? Okay, so this is Elf. I just got this from Elf. So this is essentially my finished look. Um, do my lippy. I need a, I don't know where my sharpener is, but that's gonna bust my whole, that's gonna tear up my lip. Hold on. I need my lips. Oh. That's the bad thing about having a big purse. You can't find up oh, here it is. All right. So So I think the eye color turned out pretty good. I could have done more, but as y'all see, I'm rushing like crazy. Okay. How does it look? Okay, let me get my hair out the way. All right, so my live makeup live done. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Well, that's all. That's it. Um, thank you for, for watching. Um, I'm not going to list out everything I use because I don't have time. Um, hey, thank you, Chantel. What color is the lippy? Um, it's Elf. Girl, did you, Amber, did you know that Elf is in the Dollar Tree? Girl, bye. <laughs> I almost bought up the whole store. <laughs> um, but I didn't get this from the Dollar Tree. But let me tell you what they do have. They have some of the makeup brushes in the Dollar Tree. For Elf, if y'all don't know, Elf, Elf is eyes, eyes, lips, and makeup. Um, but they did have this. So this is, and I'm going to show you, Amber, I'm going to answer your question. But I just wanted to show, these were in the Dollar Tree. And then they come with the little, um... Uh, sharpener, what have you? A dollar. Who's mad? Ain't nobody but the devil. Um. Okay. Now this one is Elf, and it's pink sugar. S U G A. I love this. It's matte. Yeah, it's matte and it's wonderful. And what y'all can even do is, you know, if you. Cause sometimes I like this in the house and I'll get out to the sun. I'm like, mm, I don't like my lips. So sometimes I just put a little bit in the middle. Ah! <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So I just do a little bit in the middle and, and do like one line to the side. So I'm still getting that other one, the um, 
this one, this first one that I use. Um, but you know, makeup is fun. I hope you all enjoy this. Um, I have to, I'm going to do a live every single day. That's not always going to be makeup. I am going to do a live tomorrow. I think I'm going to come to you all with, like I said, I know so many, um, entrepreneurs, so many people that have their own business, be it full-time on the side. And what I've learned about social media, um, I want to try to deposit into, thank you, Amber, my birthday twin, um, I want to try to deposit what I've learned um, from my experience and, you know, what I'm going through, all these different social media trainings, and I want to be able to be a blessing. So I think that I'll, I'll try to maybe, like, do a snippet every day um, of some kind of social media nugget that will help your business. Um, but I just thought this was fun. I was like, y'all gonna hang out with me because I'm gonna do this makeup because I got to go, got to go wrap these tummies, y'all. Anyway, I love y'all so much. I miss you all. <sighs> I miss y'all. All right. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I use, let me know. I'm not gonna do a lot of makeup tomorrow, but maybe if time permits, I'll do it on Friday. Okay. And um, I love you all so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Have a good day.